Oh. Oh. All right, let's talk about it. What's wrong with Nebraska? They don't believe in themselves and their ability to control the game. Accurate. Ramsker, <laughs> Ramsker says, amazing. After being a 38 to 56, after being 38 and 56 the previous nine years, they aren't there in year one under a new staff. LOL, I was just thinking this. Lost by one point in regulation last year. Vegas had us at five wins. Vegas is good at stuff like that. Expectations exploded because we were five and three and in close games. Let's win next week. Go 6-6, six, six, win the bowl, 7-6, two years worth of wins in one. The amazing thing is that the same problems seem to be coming up no matter who the coach is. They just can't close the deal. I beg to differ. The players and coaches believe in themselves much more than a fan base. I know that message boards aren't, aren't entirely effect, reflective of the entire Husker fan base, but the negativity on this board during the game while we were battling to win was very annoying. There are, of course, a couple of posters who have never a good thing to say, but even the majority were negative last night. We definitely have weaknesses, and that makes us, and that makes building a big lead or coming up with the clutch last play difficult. The kids are playing their tails off. Let's go get the win on Friday. Somebody fact check and tell me if they got the win that Friday. What it sounds like to me is that we're in charge of a rebuild process that really, really, really has been long overdue. We need to go back to the days of Coach Osborne and Tommy Frazier. I'm just going to say it. Might we even go back to the Scott Frost days? Who knows? All I know is I think it's time for Cliff David to take everything that he's got and bring it to Nebraska. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar with Cliff David, you will be very soon. Typically, I don't like drawing out these intros. I like to really just hop straight into content. So I'm gonna get this set up and I will catch you guys in maybe five seconds. Peace. Okay, so we went five and seven last year. Four and eight the year before, three and nine the year before, three and five during COVID, five and seven in 2019, four and eight in 2018, four and eight in 2017. The last time we had a winning record was nine and four. Was this during the Martinez years? All the Corn Huskers fans, is this is this when Martinez was quarterback? I'm gonna go ahead and just sign a contract. Let's sign on the dotted lines, three year contract. The goal is to win seven games. Seven games this season. That's what we need. Okay, gameplay sliders, league settings. Okay, so my sliders are all default right now. I'm I'm probably going to have to turn run blocking down and pass block up. So just get prepared for that if it comes down to it. League settings wise, take a look at our league settings. So I'm on Heisman difficulty. I got coach firing on. Coach XP speed is set to normal. And I plan to kind of leave this here. Quarter length is at eight. We'll monitor this. If we need to change it, we will. So auto recruiting off, of course, auto progression for coaches off as well. Just to show y'all what we're rocking with. Now let's go ahead and let's take a look at. I want to do our schedule first and then everything else and then recruiting last. So we open up the season on a bye and then week one, we end up playing UTEP. I'm not mad at this game. We play Colorado week two, then FCS Northwest, then Illinois, then Purdue, then Rutgers and Indiana. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep this as realistic as possible in terms of schedule. We can't change the schedule first season. We already got brought in here. They have the schedule selected. Let's go ahead and just keep what we have for now. So we'll play Utah, then we'll get tested with Colorado, and then we'll go back and hopefully start off the season three and oh. Okay, so we have all home games, our first four games. But I believe, oh, this is at Lincoln? Okay. So we got home games, our first three games, and then our fourth game, we play Illinois at home as well, Big Ten opener. Okay, cool. 
Let's set up the recruiting board. Ooh, let me get coach skills, coach skills, coach skills, coach skills. Okay, so I'm a recruiter. Let's let's unlock what we can unlock. What are we looking for? Because I want to just put the points in O line, but what are we looking for? What do our team needs? Okay, so we need a halfback. Let me write this down. Let me get my notebook out. Let me get my notebook out. Is there a pen over here? Pen, pen, pen. There's got to be a pen. No pen is crazy. No pen. Hold on, y'all. Team needs. Team needs. QB. Two. Halfback. Two. Tight end. Two. Left tackle. One. What else? Center, two. Right guard, two. Right tackle, two. We need everything. On defense. I mean, everything on defense and offense. Left end. One. D tackle. One. Okay, so we need a lot. We need a lot. We got 21 total needs. We need a lot. Um, let me see some. Okay, so tight end. Let's go ahead and add him. Brad Long Brad Longaker. Longaker. So we need Brad. He's a Nebraska native as well. Um, right outside linebacker, three star Rodney Grimes. We'll take that for sure. Dante Foster. We need two tight ends, so we'll, we'll leave it at that. Athlete. I'm gonna add him. His tendency is scrambler. So what is he? A quarterback? We're not in his top. We're we're his sixth school, and he wants and he's coming out of Florida. Can I see more on him? No, I can't. Okay, I'm gonna add him for now. Let me mark some of these off as far as targets. Uh, tight end. Check. Right outside linebacker. Or quarterback. Let me see. What do we got here? We're not even... We're, we're seven. We're not going to be able to take this one. We got to be somewhere in the mix. Right guard. Mitch Mulligan, okay. We need to be somewhere in the mix. He's an athlete. His tendency scrambler too. Is that just every athlete? Is that what it's set to? Because their speed is high. We're top five on his board, but uh, we're third on the list. Okay, we might be able to make some shake. Tendency pass coverage. I like that. Right end. Run stopper, Jamestown, New York. We're top four with him too. And we can move him to left end if we need to. What about D tackles? 
Right tackle too. Hold on. We're first on his list. Alfonso Drew. Okay. Let's go by position. So I got two quarterbacks already. Plus the athlete, right? He's a five star when we're seventh on the list. I just don't see us cutting it. Johnny Burrow. Mm. Maybe if the interest was higher. I can add them. I mean, we're top three. It wouldn't hurt, right? Let's add them real quick. Kevin Rose. So, Keon Roche, Nick Barr. Elusive back, elusive back. What's this four star right here? Elusive back as well, Ethan Whitted. Nah, we're not even on his list. We're close. Oh yeah, lock him down for sure. We're second on his board. Five eight one seventy three. Okay, not bad. Tight end, we got him added. Got four added. Okay. First, for sure, Tyler Muller. Okay. We're second on his list, but nobody's going to beat Minnesota. So it doesn't matter. Uh, He's from Alabama, and was somehow we're in the top eight. I'm not seeing it though. Six. I mean, unless we're not too far behind. For some reason, I feel more comfortable here. I'm gonna go these three for now. All right, center and right guard. He's second on the list. Got to grab it. Center. How are we in his top? Well, it's not really a how. Okay. Left end, maybe. Defensive end. Yeah. We got that already. D tackle. Oh, but he's first. We're third on his list. Where we at here? Mm. I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at any of these. Defensive tackle, what we looking like? We need one. Uh, we're eighth right now. Yeah, and, everybody, and everybody's pretty far along. Okay. Left outside linebacker. We need one. We need three, basically. Got two added. Let me get him in here. He's going to SC. I can add him still, but I just know he's going to go to SC. We got a better chance here and a better chance here. Middle linebacker. Mm. We need one. 
We got four total. Two freshmen. We don't really need one. Uh, so meet my guys, okay? This is Cliff David. This is the head ball coach. We got that situated, right? Office coordinator is John Harwell. He's a master motivator. He could also be a master manipulator. We're going to be judging him throughout the season to see if we need to keep him or get rid of him. Defensive coordinator, Jeff Cash. Another master motivator could be master manipulator in disguise. He also is somebody that we're probably going to be taking a really close look on just because defense is my bread and butter. And I feel like 100% if things don't start going well, probably the first three, four games that we don't get the ball rolling, you know, going into, you know, that mid-season form, I'm definitely going to be thinking about having some sit-downs with these coaches and figuring out what it is that we're not agreeing on. And then by week eight, week nine, if it's not fixed, you can get them. Come on, they're they just going to be gone. Anyways, right now, we're going back to the recruiting board. And here's the thing. I never really, I never really know how recruiting feels for a viewer. I used to love when I watched like Flimlo, you know, at the beginning of the season, I liked really seeing the recruiting process because you could see, you get to see the guys that are coming on the board. And I know this is a little different than NCAA 14, but do y'all want me to just give you updates every episode? Do you want every updates every like two weeks, three weeks? Y'all let me know what y'all want to see on the recruiting side of it. As of right now, since this is episode one, I'm going to show you guys just about everything I'm doing. Just about. So again, I have not done this before. I have not recruited at all. This is my first time. I didn't watch any like breakdowns for recruiting. I don't know. Offer a scholarship is at five. I really appreciate this being cheap, this go around and not costing me all my points. I'm offering out the gate. We only got 35 scholarships we can offer. It looks like not even get accepted, just offer. Did he take that? He didn't commit. Yeah, because you got to add an action, right? I guess I can't right now. Let me scout. Okay, so 84 catch and 87 acceleration, 85 speed. I like this. This is a solid pick if we can land this. It's a solid grab. Okay, so we need a right outside linebacker as well. Rodney Grimes is on the list. Let's see what Rodney's got going on. 88 acceleration. His man coverage seems to be pretty good. His speed seems to be really good. Zone is okay. Awareness okay. Tackle, pursue. Okay. I don't want to see two more right now. He's got his number one on the board, so I'm going to go ahead and offer him. Again, I don't think you get to do anything week one other than offer and scout, which is fine. Okay. Then we got Dante Foster. He's a four-star tight end, so another tight end to take a look at. I'm going to go ahead and fully scout him just because I got that ability unlocked. So, okay, we got a gym. He is 83 acceleration. 82 catching traffic, 82 catching, 78 short route running, 84 agility. Is that better than what we just saw, though? No, not really. What's his blocking? He's a vertical threat. This is the possession tight end, okay. I'm going to offer both because I think they both got us pretty high, and I know USC is probably going to offer early if I had to guess. So there's no reason for me not to offer both. I'm going to go ahead and offer that because we need two tight ends anyway. So let's get that out the way. Um, I believe Sakai Higgins, scrambler, right? Yeah, this is the quarterback. This is the quarterback athlete. So let's just take a look real quick. I don't want to use all my points, but I think I'm going to use all my points. 94 speed is insane. 94 speed, 96 acceleration. So the athletes, again, this is going to be our bread and butter. Throwing power is a 90. 86 short accuracy, 81 medium accuracy. Who 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 wants him other than me? Who's who's looking at him? Everybody. Yikes, I'm gonna have to fight for it. I'm offering early. I'm gonna have to fight for it. Okay, let's get our let's get our old line straightened out. We got Mitch Mulligan coming up next. Um We need two guards. And we need four tackles. Three tackles. Three tackles, two guards, two centers. I don't have really have a chance or the time to be picky right now. But he's in Iowa, though. And Iowa's his number one team. Iowa State is his second team. I feel like there's no, there's no room for me here, is there? Let me see something. Let's go back to guards real quick. So 
So we still got Joseph Figueroa. He's in Illinois. I'd rather put my points into somebody like Alvarez and take him off. I'm going to take him off the, the recruiting board. Mulligan. Yeah, I'm going to take Mulligan off. And I'm going to go take a look at our offensive uh, guard. So we got Joseph Figueroa. He's also an Iowa native, but he's got a second. Iowa State's at six. So I don't know if he's even asking for anything too much. As long as it's not deal breaker being proximity to home, we should be okay. I mean, we're next door anyway, so it ain't like he's traveling that far. I'm going to go ahead and offer him. Yeah, okay. We should be fine. Same thing with Alvarez. I'm going to go ahead and offer Alvarez. Watch this be like non-optimal and everybody in the comments is like, why would you offer all these players? I'm sorry, y'all. It's my first go around. It's my first go around. Okay, let me go back to all. Okay, so then we got Sam Vines, Scrambler as well. We don't, we need two quarterbacks, but I don't think we need need two quarterbacks. Right now, we've got three quarterbacks total on the team. Two are just, uh, freshmen, one is a junior. I'm almost positive some of this is going to be because of the recruiting portal or transfer portal side. We probably will lose some guys, so they're trying to get us to add some depth regardless. It's not like NCAA 14 where you barely lost transfers. I'm going to go and step out on a limb and maybe try to recruit two quarterbacks, but I'm not going to put too much pressure on it. If I can't, I can't. Don't really matter to me. I'm liking Higgins, though. Higgins is the guy right now. I'm going to scout again. 91 speed, 92 acceleration. Almost had a gym. 84 short accuracy, 81 medium accuracy. What's the difference? 90 throw power, 91 throw power, 91 speed, 94. Throwing a, the throwing a run is a lot better. He can, He's a better quarterback. He's just faster. So Sam Vines is a better quarterback. Sakai Higgins, though, he's just got 94 speed, 96 acceleration. is different. Throwing the pressure is a 78, 79. Where do, where do they where do they have us? Where do they have us listed? He's got me fifth. He's an Illinois kid, but he wants to go to Michigan or Wisconsin. What about Sakai? Again, sixth. And this is a Florida kid. Just like the same thing I was saying earlier, it would make more sense for me to invest in Sam then. I just don't see us beating out the pipeline state. Because most of these guys are going to be like uh, proximity to home anyway, right? It's got to be something like that. Left outside linebacker, we need one of those. Uh, Barry Iverson. He's a kid from Utah. He's got Texas and USC up at one and two, and we're third. Maybe we convince him. He's the best in his state. Maybe we, I don't know, maybe we convince him. I'm going to offer regardless. Amari Jolly, right in. I've got to stop doing it. i got to get used to these menus. Amari Jolly. Fourth, he's a New York kid, Pennsylvania, Ohio, Michigan, and Nebraska. Okay. I think we can compete. I think we can compete. I don't know how we're going to do it, but I, I believe we can. So we still got a lot of hours left. Um, I'm really just going through here. I need to be scouting these guys. I'm not going to lie. I'll come back and scout. Okay, Ver Vernon Finley. Let's take a look. What you got going on, Vernon? I'm going to fully scout my quarterbacks. I need to know what I'm getting into. So 87 throw power. You're very slow. That's the only other issue I'm having, though. Colorado kid. Two-star player. This would be purely depth, though. Juco, he's a sophomore. He'd be a junior when we pick him up. We already got two freshmen and a junior already. We're trying to get one of these two guys. I don't think I got, I can't waste the points. I don't need them and I can't waste the points. So I'm going to leave them here for now just in case, but I don't think we're going to need them. Halfback wise, Keon Roche, what are we talking about? Us in Air Force. Somehow we made it to the end. Let's see if it's worth it. 
91 speed, 91 acceleration. Okay, carrying the 82. I like this. I like this. Let's go ahead and offer it. Nick Barr. I'm going to scout. I'm liking this too. 91 Excel, 91 speed. Carrying is the 83. Change of direction is the 87. He's 5'11", 197. What was Keon? 5'10", 194. He's the better running back. Three-star, four-star. I'm going to offer both. We need two running backs anyway. I'm going to offer both. Um, Imani Crook. He must have had me top of his list. I may just add him for depth and then make these two fight for that last uh, running back spot. Nah, there's no. I don't even want to fight for him. If we're being honest, no fullbacks, no wide receivers. What about tight end? We need two tight ends. We got these two left, so we're first on both of their boards. That's beautiful. We might just have to make these two compete. I know I already offered both. Let me see some. Eighty-one catching traffic, eighty-three acceleration, eighty catching. He's a possession tight end, but we're first, though. So, I mean, I can't really pass it up. We're first. He's from Montana. Yeah, we can't really pass it up. Okay, Luther Qualls. Luther Qualls. Also first on his list. Let's see what he's got going on. AD catching. 81 catching traffic. These guys are so identical sometimes. Davenport, Iowa. Hmm. Because now I'm thinking... Now I'm thinking there's not much parity between any of these guys, for real. I think... I think we go Alfonso and try to land Dante. No, maybe we go Alfonso. Let's go. I'm going to go Alfonso and Brad. A speedy tight end is something that you don't know how helpful that's going to be, but it's going to be a crazy helpful. His catching traffic could be better. Um, he's 6'5", 242. He's 6'3", 254. 6'5", 242. Okay. Yeah, I could offer all of them. Luther's got us first. I don't know. We'll come back to this. Scout this a little bit. Okay. High pass block or kind of high pass block. High impact blocking. Good strength. Decent run block. Okay. We'll take that. Zach Lamore. How many how many of these guys we need? We need three. So I technically I need all of them. I'm gonna scout you as well. Pass block is high, run block is high. Oh, he might be a gym. Let's see something real quick. I think he might be a gym. Almost. 76 impact blocking. 76 pass block. 84 pass block finesse. Strength is at 84. Run block is at 77. Uh, it's not horrible. It's not horrible at all. I'm still going to offer. Keenan Honeycutt. That's a, that's a great name. Keenan Honeycutt. We're sixth on his list, and the guy's from New Jersey. Got a weird feeling about this one. Good ratings, though. Look at that. This is a gym, no? 82 impact blocking, 90 strength, 76 pass block, run blocks at 76. What was uh, Lamore? 76, impact, 82, 84. Now I'm curious. 83. Well, Honeycutt's the best one here, right? 
But we got to snap. We got to grab Tyler. And then we got to fight for one of these two. That's my opinion. So they all got to get offered. Guards. How many guards we need? We need two guards. Okay. Joseph Figueroa. I know we're second on his board. He's an Iowa kid again. Iowa's locked in number one. Ugh. I don't even have to. I don't have to do that because I, I need a. I need a guard anyway. We already offered him a scholarship. Okay, cool. Both of them. Center. Okay, so we got. We need two centers. I got two added on the list. One's got us at fifth. Other one's got us at third. He's an athlete, actually. This recruit. So we could possibly move him around. We're fifth though. East St. Louis. Uh, we can scout him, right? There's no harm in scouting him. Seventy-six. I mean, eighty-six impact blocking, eighty-one lead block, ninety strength, seventy-six, seventy-three. Not the best for a center. Have seventy-three pass block. Agile. What is this? Because now I'm skeptical for both of y'all. I'm running out of points. Um, it's not good. It's not good because he's from Colorado. Well, I'm not going to offer him. I am going to offer him just to see what it does. We need one right in. Really, we need one left in. We're first on his list. I say we keep it that way. Idaho guy. Let's keep it that way. Let's keep it pushing. Unfortunately, I'm going to take him off the board because we just don't need him. I do need a D-tackle. He was one of the few that was interested. Hoboken. So Jersey's where he wants to be, right? Because Rutgers is the number one school. He's from Hoboken. I mean, we could still I could still offer him because I need a defensive tackle. No point in scouting though. This is a pure depth decision. We need three outside linebackers. Okay, so Rodney Grimes, we already offered him. We seen Barry Iverson. Let's look at Ben Fogg. I'm gonna go ahead and scout Ben. For what it's worth. Not bad, Ben. 80, 80 power move, 81 tackle, 82 speed. Zone coverage is horrible. Play rec is at 69. Acceleration is at 88. Pursuit is at 80. So he's really getting after the ball. His ability is at quick jump. Yeah, he's getting after the ball. I'm gonna I'm gonna offer him. I don't see why not. Taj Baller or Bowler, Taj Bowler, Run Stopper as well. Uh, we need three. I got three offered and three added. I'm third on his list. Where's he? If Kansas is on here, I'm just not gonna. I'm not gonna go through it. No, Tulsa's on here. Colorado's on here. So I got just as good of a shot as anybody. I'm gonna offer. Middle linebacker. I just need one. Only one added, James Cobb, Wisconsin. We probably don't get him. Cornerback, Steve Dolagala, Florida kid, Fort Lauderdale. He's got all three uh, top Florida schools added first, then we're fourth. Maybe we, maybe we steal this. I'm gonna do it just because it's a corner. Maybe we steal that, I guess. Look at that. Look at zone covers. Look at Hold on. Let's see. I got to scout this. Some unicorn. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Before I... I'm going to come back so I don't blow my points. Strong safety. We needed a strong safety. Why don't we have one? Did we get a punter? We did get a punter. He's got us first. I'm going to go ahead and offer it because we, we need a punter. Um, do we really need a punter, though? 
Yeah, one's a senior, so we have to have a punter. Okay. Strong safety. Can we go back and, and look for that? Mm. I'm going to get in where I fit in. Let's go after the Juco guy. I feel like we're too far behind some of these guys already, and they're not really worth chasing. Strong safety, right? Before we do that, let's go back to our corner. He's a gym. 89 acceleration, 92 speed, 92 change of direction, 68 zone coverage. Man coverage is a 76, though. His play record is a 74, and his awareness is a 68. We need this guy. We need this guy. Yeah, we definitely need him. Strong safety. What are you working with? I'm going to offer you just to be on the safe side. Okay, so we got 27... Players added, 23 scholarships offered. I'm going to show you guys around the league. No, actually, there's no need, right? View your XP goals here. So Tyler has reached his top eight schools. We're in it. We're number two. Our tight end is at risk of transferring due to playing time. So he wants some he wants some playing time. Okay. We'll figure that out. We got a bye week this week, which means we can really focus on recruiting. Um can we do practice? Is there any practice? There's no practice mode here. We can't even practice? Okay, so we we jumped up. Brass got us a number one. Rodney's got us a number one. And Dante Foster's got us a number one. So it looks like we're probably gonna walk out with these two. Let me go ahead and just start just start throwing stuff on the list. So I'm gonna search the social media, make sure everything is good on that end. Um I wanna DM the player, let him know, hey, we're interested in talking to you, let's figure things out. And then I'm gonna leave it at that for now, right? I shouldn't have probably well let me let me you know what? Let me apply pressure where pressure is needed. I need this signing early. I'm going to send the house. Did that work? Yeah, that worked. I think that worked. Something happened. Add action. Oh, so send the house is everything. If I click send the house, it's going to add everything. So this should go through, right? It didn't let me, though. So contact friends and family. That's added. Now I have to do it. Okay. 
Can I okay? So can I just like shower bomb him with recruits? I mean recruiting points, and then he just joins the team. It's not gonna let me do that right now. Oh, I'm at I'm at my max. Okay, forty out of fifty. Got it. Okay. Now I can I can send the house with him though, right? Add action. Send the house. Dante Foster. I send everything I could at you. If you if you're not feeling that, man, I don't know what else to tell you. Um, Rodney. Ronnie, can we scout this a little bit more? I'm going to max this out before I offer. So, Ronnie's got a 71 zone coverage. And his, his tendency is pass coverage, so that's fine. 88 acceleration is really good. 81 speed is cool. 64 play rec is fine. He can't really tackle that well. Changes directions at 7. I kind of like this. 5'11", 216. He's a little small. A little small, but he's... At the same, not not even small. He's just shifty. I could really put him at strong safety if I needed to. He just, I just have to worry about him in cover four. I, I like Rodney. I like Rodney. I'm I'm a, I'm gonna search his social media. Let's contact his family. Let him know. Hey, you know what I'm saying. We want to reach out to you. Figure out what's going on. Okay, so we got these three down. Tight ends. I want to go to our corner. Right. We need our corner. Steve, Steve, Steve. How are we looking, Steve? Where you got us at right now? Oh, we're number one. We jumped that easy? I'm sending the house anyway, so... Send the house at him. That has to happen. So, are these hours taken up every week? I only get a certain amount? I think that's what's happening. I think each one is through the week, right? Okay. Okay, this is making a little bit more sense. This is making more sense as we move through it. We did tight ends. Can we look at the quarterbacks real quick? Ooh, did not mean to do that. Okay, so... We can't we we did go up on the on the board just because we offered so we're third. I don't know if that's gonna fall off next week. Same thing with Sam. We're still third with Sam too. Six two one ninety five, six foot one ninety nine. Sam is the better quarterback. Ninety one throw power. Better short accuracy. Same medium accuracy. Throwing a run is a lot better with Sam. Break sacks out of 84, too. I'm going to go. I'm going to just. I'm going to. Mm, I'm going to put. I'm going to pour this into Sam. No, it's the it's the speed, y'all. I'm, I'm thinking Lamar Jackson. I'm thinking Sakai Higgins is, is my next Lamar Jackson. 96 speed, I mean 94 speed, 96 acceleration. Yeah, I gotta go this way. I got I kinda have to, like. His abilities though, he doesn't even have that many. Off platform, magician, magician, option king, extender. This is tough, y'all. So, we have an A for brand exposure, and that's his deal breaker. We got an A minus for pro potential, and that's his deal breaker. So we're, we're kind—I of, mean, we're right where we want to be, right? Just who we who we feel like doing this with. We're only gonna grab one of them. I'm not putting everything into both. We just don't have the points for that. Throwing the runs at 83. He's just a better quarterback coming out the gate. The natural. I'm going to go Sam. He's just a better quarterback right now.
I'm going to send the house. So those four, three, four players, three players I'm sending the house on, that's it. Because that's 150 hours per week I just lost on three recruits. And that's a lot. So I think I'm already overdoing it. I'm going to still play it safe. I'm going I'm to DM uh, Sakai and search his social media. Just let him know, hey, we're looking at you. Let us know what's going on. Um, left outside linebacker. How are we looking? Second. We're neck and neck with Texas right now. Okay. What's his deal breaker? Pro potential? We got that. We can make sure you get to the pros for sure. I'm going to contact friends and family. DM the player. That's what? 40 points instead of this 50? If that doesn't work, I'll just switch it out. If it seems like I'm still losing that race, that's what I should start doing. Um, he still got us first, so I'm going to take it slow. I'm going to search his social media and DM him. And then Alfonso Drew. I mean, if you don't need nothing right now, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to search his social media and just see what, what happens with that. We need two tight ends, right? I mean, but tight end wise, we're pretty good. I got the house going at both of these guys. We need to lock him down, all right? And to be honest with you, how am I going to stop either one from transferring next season? We'll see. We'll see. We'll see what it comes down to. We'll see what it comes down to. Offensive tackle, we need this. Okay, so Tyler's got us at second. Zach... Is it we're at fourth with Zach? Were we always at fourth with Zach? We went up. We went up with everybody except Tyler. Pro potential. That's his deal breaker. Playing time is his deal breaker. We got an A plus for that. I need I need three tackles. I'm gonna search the social media. I'm going to contact his friends and family. And then I'm going to DM his this player. I'm just going to search for social media for now. Guards, what are we looking at? Alvarez, Alvarez, talk to me. Where am I at? Why am I so far behind Michigan? Your deal breaker is pro potential. We need to come back to to Alvarez. I'm gonna I'm gonna start off right now with just I'm gonna contact his friends and family, but I don't know. I'm not understanding why we're not in that top spot. Okay, so contact friends and family for sure here. Got to get that going. We need a center. We're first for him too. Okay. Action overview. Contact friends and family, send the house, search social media, DM the player, message the player directly. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're already first. But what's the lead again? Okay, kind of, kind of pretty big deficit. I mean, pretty big lead. So I'm gonna go, DM the player, and I'm gonna contact his friends and family. I want to just secure it if I can. I'm gonna, I'm gonna search his social media. I did not want to offer him. But you gotta offer him to even contact him, right? So I'm gonna search the social media. Let that be the thing. We just need one defensive end, but we're first on both of their lists, so I'm gonna DM him. Let him know we're looking at him. D tackle. Same thing. Social media. Okay, outside linebacker. We got Ben Fogg. Uh, we're first on the list. Let me come back to the linebackers. DM the player. We're first on his list. Let's go punter. I need him. Let's contact his friends and family because we need him. And then athletes, athletes, athletes. Let me go back to linebackers. We need three minus our middle linebacker. Offer scholarship. That should help. 
add action. I'm going to search his social media and then we're going to DM him. We need to search everybody's social media, right? Just if we have them add on the board, just search them. It's the least we can do. It doesn't cost that much. Um, add action. Let's contact friends and family. We're serious about this one too. But see, now I want to do more because I'm going to DM the player. We got time. Let's go to athletes real quick. Oh, they all got offered. Okay. Who's not fully scouted? That's what we should do with the rest of these points right now. I kind of wish it would it would automatically do it, no? Let's do the guys that we're skeptical about already. Okay. Let's advance to next week. Okay, we're in it. We're in the mix. Tally has reached his top two schools. Okay, we're in the mix. We're in the mix. We're in the mix. Okay, so we got 150 hours left that we can kind of play around with. Oh, we're leading big time here. Okay. Yeah, Sakai ran away with Miami. I'm gonna I'm gonna experiment real quick and see if I if I send everything. Okay, so can I take these off? Yeah, I'm gonna remove. And it refunds me my points. So send the house then. That's 50 right there. We're still fighting for for a Sam as well. There's nothing we can really do right now. Barry's still the same. Texas still got his beat here. Stanford is killing us for Amari Jolly. Speaking of that, if that's the case, who else do we have offered? We don't. We're not putting. We gotta put points in both of them. That that could that could potentially save us here. Let me remove because we could put fifty in both. No. Fifty here. I'm first here. I don't have to do nothing for real, do I? So just leave it. I just want. I just. I'm kind of just testing it to see like what works and what doesn't. Okay, so that's he's gaining interest. We don't really need to do too much with him. Okay, we might have to send the house at we might have to send the house at Barry. We might have to send the house at Barry. I'm seeing it. So let's let's take all these off. And let's just dump 50 in. So technically none of this matters. Like it seems the recruiting seems a little bit more in depth, but I don't know if it is because it just reminds me of just putting points and points. Like they didn't they didn't revamp the system. They just kind of made the system instead of just flicking your right stick to go to five hundred or seven fifty. Now you just put pretend points into different recruits, but you need max hours anyway. If you're not putting in max hours, you're not going to really get that recruit to begin with. So, at least for a lot of the guys that are competitive, I'm saying. So it doesn't really matter for me to have all these active when I could just go straight over and just do send the house. Because the totals probably come up to 50 anyway. 25, 30, that's 35, that's 40. So it's it's 40 or send the house at 50. I'm going to send the house. We need linebackers anyway. And then for somebody like Taj... He's a run stopper. His tackles at seven. His block shedding is at sixty-seven, though. I don't know about that. 
He's kind of slow too. He's got some acceleration on him though. Hit power is at 75. I mean, for debt purposes, I'll do this. For debt, we can we can definitely go into detail. So I'm gonna DM the player. Got yeah, 50 hours left. Okay. Cool. First. 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 Anybody ready for visit? He's ready for visit. Alvarez. Alvarez, do me a favor. Oh, I can't, can I? I guess I can. So I get, it's going to go up just a little bit. What's his, uh, I'm going to schedule the visit during this Wisconsin game. And his deal breakers pro potential. Is there one for pro potential? Yeah. Okay, cool. We barely have any hours left. Fifty nine man coverage is insane. He's gonna be riding a bitch his whole career if you don't fix that. Okay, so we finally have got through just about everything we could get through with the, you know, preliminary stuff for the Dynasty. I'm going to go ahead and end this episode. The next episode, you guys will see game one. Catch on a little bit. Peace. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get into it. Let me show you all the dev chart real quick. This is what we're rocking with. I'm going to show you the skill, guys, for, for this one. And then if y'all want something deep. Well, I'm going to show you all everybody. What am I talking about? So D Dylan Rayola is our uh, starting quarterback, freshman on the view for Georgia. Our backup is Heinrich Harburg. He's the quicker quarterback on the team. He's 89 speed, 85 or 84 acceleration. But throw power on Dylan is a 96. His short uh, accuracy is an 87. His medium accuracy is an 85. His deep throw accuracy is an 85. His throw on a run is an 81. His throw under pressure is an 80. And his break sack is an 85. So he's definitely got the intangibles. Um, running back wise, let's take a look here. So our starting running back, Dante Dowdle, he'll be carrying most of our team, probably because I'm gonna be running the ball a lot. So he'll be carrying the team for a large portion of the season. Uh, 93 acceleration, 89 speed. His change of direction is 86 and his carrying is 88. So he's not gonna fumble, hopefully. Not as much as somebody like uh, Ramir Johnson, who was his backup, but I switched him out with Emmett Johnson just because Ramet's, I mean, Ramir's faster, but I need the ball carrying to really be safe. And I need to know that's in good hands. So let me go back to my third down running back, too. Hold on. See, it's him. Mm, I'll keep him there. Who's the power half back? Dante? Okay, cool. Okay. So if we take a look and go back to the receiver, our starting receiver is Jamal Banks and Isaiah Nayor, two seniors. Jamal is, I think, one of the slower guys on the receiving group, especially in our starting receiving group. We got sophomores Malachi Coleman and Jalen Lloyd, who are basically our speedsters on the team. 96 uh, speed for Malachi and 93 acceleration, and then Jalen Lloyd is just a bullet, 97 speed, 98 acceleration. So I got Jalen right now. I believe he's returning kicks for me. But y'all haven't y'all haven't seen too much of, of me yet. I don't know. The vets have. Whoever's been on this you know channel for a long time, you know. I prefer speed on offense. So my skill guys, they really need to be speedy. If it comes down to our offense not really producing too well these first two games. I'm definitely going to try to go with the young blood and put in maybe even a freshman like Dante Hall or, I'm sorry, Devon Hall. 
He's got 95 speed, 93 acceleration. Catching is not that great, but if they can get open, that's all we need. But like I said, we can get everything else later. I'm going to go ahead and start us off at our first game in UTEP. I'll see y'all on the field. Okay. Let's get it. We got a packed house right now in Memorial Stadium. Let's get it. Gonna do what we're gonna do. Light him up. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Let's get it. Let's get it. One of the toughest places to play. Toughest places to play. Come on, light him up. Light him up. Third and seven. Defense got a hold. Defense got a hold. That's insane. You guys want to know what happened? I know you're embarrassed, but just check this out real quick. Check this out. Check this out. The game. Oh, no, he just got burnt. But the game made me go this way. <laughs> the game made me. I'm sorry. Like a, I sound like a kid right now. Okay, we can get him back for that. Come on now. Come on now. Go Big Red. Go Big Red. First touchdown of the season. Now let's run back that, that defense. Let's run back that interaction again.
Alright, let's run this back the right way. Don't even try it. Pick that. Give me that. Oh, it's loud. Yo, 13 is getting cooked. Oh, yeah, he's benched. He's benched. He's benched. He's gave up two plays. Both touchdowns. He's getting benched. I don't know where he, I don't know where he thought he was. I don't know if he thought like, man, coach is just it's the beginning of the game. You know, it's the beginning of the season. Coach, just give me another chance. Stop. Stop. I'm not interested no more. I'm not interested. I'm not interested in seeing this no more. I don't know what's happening to you, but if we got to replace you completely, we will. Like, can we take a look at this, though? Let's take a look. Let's figure out what really happened. So we saw it the first time. Okay, why are you still backpedaling? Right here, he's about two steps away from overtaking. Why are you still backpedaling? Backpedal. Okay, try it, try it, try it. You're not fast enough. You're not fast enough. You saw that the first time. You're not fast enough. There's no safety help over the top. He's got the deep. He's got the deep fourth. It's cool. Give me that. Come on now. Let's get it. Go. Get off of me. Stay on your feet. Stay on your feet. It's okay. Everybody got to get something going. It's okay. It's okay. 31. This is you, Dowdle. What happened? What happened? Do I respect them? Not enough. Hurry up, run, hurry up, run, hurry up. I smell blood. Actually, let's play it safe. I respect them a little bit. I'm rolling out of the pocket. I know it's going to crumble because I'm play action. Yep. Give me that. We'll take it. We'll take it. Right here. Come on. Keep going. Keep chugging. Keep chugging. No reason to panic. No reason to do nothing weird. Second and four. 
Again, no reason to panic. Get in position. Yo, every time. Dante, come on. Hit the gap. Hit the gap. We in there. We in there. We in there. We in there. Lloyd. That's not in. Come on now. Whoo. Oh, that's what I do. We feed him. <laughs> we continue to feed him and feed him and feed him. You're not gonna jump that? He's not gonna jump that ball? I guess. I guess you don't jump that ball. Watch out. Hit the gap. Nice hit. I was just hoping we would sack him. I, 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 it was risky. I was just hoping we would get to the quarterback. Ugh. They should not be scoring this easy. Give me that. 
are open vertically down the field. I got to hit them too. We can't let our serve get Give me that. Stiff armor. Lloyd, this is coming to you. Oh. Come on. 32. Keep going. You don't need to worry about nothing else. Just keep the ball moving. I know this score looks a little crazy. It's not our job. Our job is to put more points on the board, make it look crazier. I should be chewing some of this game clock. No diddy. Thirty inches. Can we convert? There we go. That's the breakaway we needed. Come on now. Oh. Uh, I was trying to score before the quarter ended. Don't know why. I have no idea why I was in a rush like that. Oh, they're going five wide. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Man, if y'all don't smack his ass. Are we not in base line? Stay there. We'll take a field goal. You got. We're not giving up the end zone. Under no circumstances. It's not even an option. Fellas, don't even think about it. You're not giving it up. Come on, Buford. Take him down. We can deal with that. We can deal with that.
I'm seeing it. There you go. And they're not kicking this field goal. They're not making it. They're not making this field goal. Did you hit? The, did he? Did he just hit the kicker? Oh my God! Give me his jersey! Give me his jersey! It's no way. It's no way. We need to get to him. There's no way. There's no way we did all that just for that to happen. Smack him. So now we're learning we do not have the personnel for this defense. This 335 is not going to work. Oh my days. Oh my days. Oh my days. Oh my days. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Watch out. Oh, thank God he didn't turn around and pick that ball. What are we missing? What are we missing? There you go. Watch out. Where are we going? Where are we going? Okay, read option. If you don't want the quarterback to keep it, don't press anything. First down. I should have wrote the other way. They were both open. Third and seven. Hold on to that. Let's 
Second and three. Okay, let's keep going. Keep it moving. No, keep it moving. Keep it moving. In. If this is how we're going to have to play, this is how we're going to have to play every game. You score, I score. You score, I score. You don't score. I score, I win. Three-point game. Let's get to it. Good tackle. He got the first, but good tackle. Give me that. Ooh, Gifford. Foo, 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 foo. That is a scary looking mascot. Take a look at this, y'all. I thought they were going to show a replay, but they didn't. Hold on. Isaac Gifford. Okay, come on. Nice. Bring the pressure. He don't like getting uncomfortable. Let's just keep blitzing. Zone blitzes. Let's play it safe. Yo, 13. What's happening? I just can't count on him. He's a liability. There you go. Get to him. We got to get, we got to bring pressure. Now we really blitz. I'm already seeing it though. Oh. <laughs> Y'all, I know. I'm just thinking maybe we get to the quarterback first. I'm just thinking maybe we get to the quarterback first. 
I know y'all. I mean, our guys. No time. I should have kept running with him. Yeah, I'm scoring. <laughs> I don't know how else to tell you, but 58 seconds, I'm scoring. Forty six seconds, and my guys are out of the game. Catch that. Come on, let's make some magic. Let's make some magic. We definitely got to up the pass block. Give me that. Oh, we in business for sure. Oh my gosh, buddy, you're killing me here. You're killing me. 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 I'm your quarterback. They're going to make me fight for it. They really gonna make me fight for it. So this is what Heisman sliders are about. <laughs> this is what picking the having the wrong defense is about. What are we doing? Get off of me. Can we move the blockers a little bit? There we go. We'll take that. Come on now. Come on. 
Come on now. Good speed. Good speed. Kind of like this, maybe? Oh, he had it. It was in his hands. We're not losing this game, so it's like... I could be worried, but then worry about what? And we're not coming up empty, buddy, so you can keep that to yourself. Let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. It only take one play. <laughs> Tackle him. Tackle him. Oh, my days. Oh, my days. Oh, my days. I'm... Yeah, these they're, these announcers are gaslighting me. They're gaslighting me. I'm triggered. I am triggered. Capital T. We got a ball out. No. No, 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 no. I've seen this play before. No. There we go. It's all good. We're waiting for one mistake. Smack him. We need a turnover. Drop that. Third and four. Let's just try it. Let's try it. Let's go, man. Give me that. Don't tell me, man, coverage is just like it is in NCAA 14. Don't let me find out, man, is broken. Stop. Stop. Fifty-one. Beautiful block. Beautiful block. Beautiful block. Let's make our money back. Let's get our money back. 38-41. We shouldn't go down 0-1 to start the season off. Because that's just not, that's not how you turn something around. We're here for the Husker faithful. For the true black shirts. Let's see. Let's see if we can make some shake. Five wide, yet again. Give me that. Gifford. You got to try it again, buddy. Try it again. Try it again. Try it 
he held on to that ball for his life. I mean, we done smacked him like three, four times. How did he not fumble? I don't know. I don't know. They got me beat. I thought he was running. That play action fooled me. I would have ran. Smack him. Y'all, what's the hesitation for? What are we hesitating for? I mean, can he cough up the ball, please? All right, we're going back to we're going back to the bread and butter, the newfound bread and butter. Okay, 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 okay. on the ground and that will put him over one hundred and one away to start the season. The miners trying to get a touchdown on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. Yo, what a season this is gonna be. Absolute madness. Ten point game. Oh. You know what? I think it's time. I think it's time. I think the time has come where we must bring out our personnel. We must. It's time. It's simply time. Holding. I get it. I know. I know. Just go ahead and give it to me. Just give me the give me the flag. Yeah. Hold on to it. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Guys, this offense is already reeling down multiple possessions. Really need to cash in on this drive. Getting some heat. Hit it. And it is another interception. Just a terrible struggle for this quarterback. And he's wrapped up after a solid return on the pick. That QB might want to register. 
It's pulling away from me. The game is pulling away from me. No one's fumbling. I don't have a chance at getting the ball back, it feel like. Take him. How are we? Why are we? Why did we not smack him in the backfield? Thirteen point game. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? Dynamite matchup this week, fellas. Let's show you what's going down. Auburn is lighting up the scoreboard right now, thanks to a dazzling offensive display. They're up by twenty eight over the pandas. Just another week of college football where we come to expect the unexpected. We gotta get some of these back. We got to get with ours back. Super linebackers, man. I swear it. They're only bringing three. Catch and run. Oh. We needed that, man. We needed that bad. We needed something to bring life back into us. Six-point game. Hold. Bend but don't break. Hold. I repeat. Hold. No. Not letting it happen. We got to get to the quarterback. Get to the quarterback. They're not going to fumble. I, I'm seeing it. There's just no chance he fumbles, right? Let me put this back to the conservative. Good, 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 good. Good job. Good job. What is the hesitation on the pursuit angle? Help your teammate out. What are we hesitating about? What is there to figure out? See, now he's just bullying. Come on now. Come on, y'all. Come on. Oh, but, that, my, but my linebacker can't just reach out. My linebacker doesn't get the animation. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Job, making them feel uncomfortable, changing what they're doing in coverage 
action is a little bit confused, you can't just let him pick you apart. Bring in the heat. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. First and 10. Dangerous, man. That was dangerous. That was dangerous, and we got to score quick. How come he's throwing it short when it's the right side of the field? What's happening? Oh. oh, no, 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 no. I'd rather not. Okay, I don't know how that just happened, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't have, to, I don't have time to think about it. I don't have time to figure it out. I don't know. I don't. From now on, everything's going to be a high pass. How is that not pass interference? Oh, oh, that's on the defense. Take a look at this. He caught it like on his back. It's the best catch I've ever seen in a video game. Ever. We score here, but we got to stop them. That's the thing. We have to stop them on defense. Get in there, Rayola. Yeah. Four minutes, we just got to stop them one time. One time. Good tackle. Good tackle. We're playing up to our schedule. Yes, we're playing up to our performance. That's what I like to see. It's getting loud in the stadium. Give me that. Can y'all can we please get to him? Can Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Defense for showing up. 
Finally. Thank you. Now we get back in our pocket. No coach. Now we get back in our zone. Now we get back to our bread and butter. Oh, yeah. The bread and butter. Oh, yeah. The bread and the butter. Because the problem is I can't stop them from scoring. So if I give them the ball back, it's got to be with as little time as possible. Which could probably come around to screw me in the end. But it's a risk you got to be willing to take at this stage of the game. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And we got to go for two. And we got to convert. Oh, we finally got the lead. We finally got the lead back. Finally. Come on. Come on, minute and 42 seconds. Bamba, don't break. Give him everything in front of you. Everything in front of you, just don't give him nothing behind you. Yeah, no. 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 Try harder. Two plays. Try harder. Two plays. Try harder. Right now. Smack him. Mm. Two plays. Don't make me look stupid. Two plays. Last play. Last play. And the hope stays alive. Smacked. He he didn't. He caught that still. Okay, time is still running. They got two timeouts left. How y'all want to play it?
Give me that. Read it like a book. Read it like a book. Get your hands off me. ASAP. Game. Oh boys, y'all have no idea how stressful that was. You have no clue how stressful that was. We survived. We survived. We probably put up the most points Nebraska's put up in the last four or five years. Put up 60. 60 on their head. We got a lot of questionable things happening on defense. Our offense is very resilient. Rayola had a day. He threw some picks. He came back, tried to make his own way. I mean, look at our guys. Look at our guys just figuring it out. Just figuring it out. Whatever it takes, they figuring it out. At Lincoln Memorial Stadium, there's nothing else to really say. Big Ten, Big Ten Conference on the way, what, week four? So we got to get all these little kinks ironed out. Go to player stats, 430 yards in the air, 18 completions on 38 attempts. He had four picks but two touchdowns. The boy was slinging and he wasn't afraid to throw it. Longest throw being 70 yards. Now, if you take a look at Utah, 19 for 31, so he was 61% completion percentage, five touchdowns, three interceptions. His longest pass was a 75-yarder. So the boys were slinging it today. That's all you need to know. Rushing. Oh, I think it's broken. Okay, cool. 167 yards for Dante Dowdle. He had a day. 167 yards. Two touchdowns, three broken tackles, 57 yards after contact, two 20-plus yard runs. His longest run of the day was 25 yards. Then you got receiving-wise, we were balling out. Jamal Banks, 161 yards receiving, five receptions, 32-yard average, 51 yards receiving after the catch, or run after the catch, sorry. 10 average run after the catch, and then 66 yards was his longest reception. Only beat by Malachi Coleman, a sophomore, who we threw in the game because we knew we were going to need some speed, and he made sure to deliver. So did Lloyd. Lloyd was our other sophomore. Both of these guys, over 95-plus speed, and they just made plays everywhere. Blocking, how many sacks did we give up? One sack? I got sacked one time. He got sacked twice, okay. I feel like pass block needs to go down for CPU. Actually, I'm going to leave it where it's at. I feel like it's kind of balanced right now. It does feel like they were kind of getting the break on me early. But once I figured out how to maneuver the offense, I think we, we patched it up. So we should be straight on that. Now let's take a last look at our defensive side of things. So we had two inter three interceptions of the day. One went to oh, – hold on. Sorry, y'all. One went to Quandre Henderson, our cornerback, our starting corner. He had one interception and then two solo tackles but three tackles total. Isaac Gifford was everywhere. This might be the best player we have on defense right now. He's a run support tendency, but he came up big with that interception that we needed. He had eight total tackles, so he was definitely stuffing the run. Um, I think that's the most on the team. Yep, eight total tackles is the most on the team. So him and Tommy Hill, our corner, our DBs were getting it done. So I, I like the three. I don't hate the three three five. I might run it next game, but if we if we put up if we got to put up sixty points to win, I'm switching out of this defense. So it is what it is. I'll catch you guys in the next one. I appreciate y'all for dropping by. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Y'all let me know how y'all feeling. Subscribe, comment, like, give me your thoughts. I appreciate y'all for dropping by, man. Really, I really do. All right, y'all. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.